Hey y'all, welcome to my video. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing a little bit about my depression journey. And the light just totally changed outside. Sorry for any change in the video. For those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Amanda. And I am married and I have a two-year-old little boy. And on my channel, I do videos of me trying to be better at certain things. Um, it's real life. It's things, and it's not things that I want to become an expert in necessarily. It's just things that I want to be better at so that I can live um, life a little easier, a little happier. A little smoother, be able to relate to other people better, um, and just in general have an awesome life. Anyway, so that's kind of a little bit about me. And if you hear noises, the, gig the giggling is my son playing over here. Anyway, so let me give you a little bit of background on um, my depression. I'll go into more details um, kind of in other videos and stuff, but just to give you kind of a background. Um, I didn't really know what it was, um, but I, my first real experience with it was in college. And um, for me, it, it kind of goes through seasons. Um, in college, um, I can't say, I can't remember how long it was, but I feel like it's usually about uh, three to six months um, of really bad uh, depression and then I will kind of get out of it and figure out a way to kind of handle it a little bit better and look for the triggers and things like that and um, just kind of be able to function a little bit better and then something usually happens it's usually something that triggers it um, I think a lot of times for me it's the continuation of a lot of different things kind of coming at me um, negative things or things going wrong or um, just it kind of things just kind of pile up and I just get tired and it's just really hard for me mentally to handle it so there's been several different seasons in my life and I feel like uh, this last kind of season of depression for me has been the longest and part of that is because it kind of crept up on me and it just kind of slowly started getting worse hi you in the video <laughs> And so this last time um, the, was the longest, like I said, and it kind of stemmed from when I had Liam. And so he's two, two years old now. Um, and going into pregnancy or going into um, having a kid, um, I was aware that I could be possibly um, susceptible to postpartum depression and just kind of trying to prepare myself for what that might look like and things like that. And um, I didn't think that I had it, but looking back now, I feel like there, there definitely were signs that I had some level of it. Um, it's just, it looked different than the previous times, the previous seasons of my depression. And so I didn't really realize. Like I was looking for what I remember and what I have experienced before and not thinking, oh, there could be new symptoms. And so, um, so that was kind of interesting. There are different seasons as uh, that first year and a half that he, um, since he was born, that um, I had a good few weeks, I had a good few months, things like that. But I feel like it was always just there under the surface because I wasn't handling it. And so, or addressing it. I really wasn't doing anything for myself. I was just trying to, I was basically putting, taking care of my son first. And um, yes, taking care of kids is very important. But for someone who struggles uh, with mental health and with depression, that was not a good thing for me to do. I really needed to take time for myself. Hold on a second. Um, and so the main big 
bad part of my depression came um, when I started my uh, marathon training. And I have those videos um, here as well, and I'll link them here or down there or somewhere. Um, I'll have a playlist of those. I knew doing this challenge would keep me accountable because there was a race every month and I had to stay training. And so then that way um, I could get in better shape. As you see through my training, it ended up, I wasn't, I did lose some weight and I did get a lot fitter. But I wasn't losing the weight that I thought I would. And yes, it's cardio, and, but I was doing different things, different weights and different um, different kinds of exercises, not, not just running. Things just weren't going the way that I thought they were or I thought they would go. And it really upset me because I was trying to lose weight. I was trying to get healthy and I was trying to get fit and trying to feel good in my body. And I wasn't. I was doing so much exercise and I was stressing so much, keyword stressing, stressing so much about the food that I was eating and I wasn't losing the weight that I thought I would. And not just number on the scale, just like I could feel it in my body. Like I just, I was looking at the number on the scale, but I also have a number on the scale that says um, body fat percentage. And that was more the number I was looking at. And it just really upset me. And I just started to get really down. Now, looking back during that time, there are also a lot of things outside of the running that were stressful. And stress can really put a stop on weight loss. Your body, just the way your body is handling it, um, it wants to hold on to it kind of a survival thing. It wants to hold on to your fat. <laughs> um, I, I, I think I heard that something. I, it's, you don't need to correct me if it's not medically correct. It's just something that I have in my head that I heard somewhere that somebody maybe medical had said. Uh, but anyways, I can totally see that being true. And I know that in that, in my particular instance, I was extremely stressed and it really did put a stop to my weight loss. Because I had been trying so hard and been stressing so hard, the fact that it wasn't working stressed me out even more and made me more upset. And so that's just kind of when I went down in my little spiral into my depression. And the way it manifested was so different for me. Like, or maybe I just am more aware I've grown and matured that I've been able to notice things a little bit more. I am fairly self-aware of things like that, but I think it, maybe it was just different. I don't know. Because I kept pushing all of my, my thoughts and my feelings to the side, that I kind of stopped having feelings. Now, they were still there, but it just, it wasn't, it didn't match situations. And that was just kind of weird. Like, I'd see, I'd be in a group of people, and we'd hear some news or something. Everybody's so excited, and I'm like, oh, well, I, I'm not really all that excited. It took a while of that happening for me to kind of see, oh, wait, that could be a symptom of something. Um, now, during that, during that time of um, my training and kind of getting through all those races, I did continue to um, hang out with people and to go do things, um, do things with my little one. Uh, and so it was a little different. And so that's kind of where I was like, I'm not depressed. Um, but then, like I said, it seeped through other ways. And I'll probably go into more detail of that. And you might be able to see some of it in my videos before even I was willing to admit it um, while I was training for the marathon. But that's kind of what season of life I'm coming out of now and it's taken me a long time to figure out how do I come out of it <laughs> put all the toys in my lap and now sitting on it um, and so what I wanted to do kind of with this uh, video give you a little bit of background obviously like I did a little summary tell you about what um, what happened in this latest season of my depression Anyways, so I'm going to be kind of, sh um, in future videos, I'll kind of be sharing a little bit more about my journey, 
more of the symptoms that I've had, how I've kind of dealt with it. And for any of you out there who suffer from depression, you know, I'm here struggling with you. And, um, you know, don't, don't just go off what you see or videos you watch or whatever. Like, actually go to somebody and um, talk to somebody and seek help if you need help. And um, just know that there's other people out there struggling too. And it's a journey and um, it takes effort. Uh, but you can, you can get better and um, you can still live a really great life. So that's what I'm trying to do is live a great life. Um, but it's, it can be hard at times, especially when you get those negative thoughts rolling in circles in your head. But anyways, well, I hope that something of that turned out um, had a toddler needing my attention there at the end. If you like this video, click the subscribe button down below and uh, you can follow with me on my journey in future videos. Hope you all have a wonderful day. See you all next time. Bye.